Qul hu wallahu ahad. You left, you left Islam. No, for that. Yeah, I, for that. Yeah, I mean, why? Why? You just because, told me. Uh, yeah, and why? You because, left Islam because of Qul yeah, wallahu. Because Jesus. We're not fighting. So here, my friend. We're not fighting. Here. <laughs> one more challenge. One more challenge. Give me one woman. Give me one, no in Islam. Give me one woman in Christianity. Give me one woman in a time of Jesus who raised up army against Jesus Christ. I will drop my Bible. Goodbye. Give me one woman in the history of Christianity. Give me one woman who rebel against Jesus Christ. All right, but can I make a point? We're no, not arguing. You ask my question first, and then you can make a point. All right. So I'm not allowed to have a conversation with you? I'm not debating, sir. No debater, I'm no. Not debating. I'm not a debater. Are. Sir, you are. I'm not a debater. Sir, I respect your integrity. I'm I not debating. Your, I, All right, oh, okay, sir, okay. I respect sorry. your integrity. Sorry. I respect your identity, and I respect your image. But I'm not here to debate. I'm here to preach the gospel. All right. What if I ask you a question? If you want, sir, if you want to debate, we go. I'm not down, debating. Sir. Bro, say it down there, sir. Okay. I don't want to hurt your What is your name? Debate. What is your name? My name is Christopher. Christopher. Yeah. Can I ask a question, Christopher? Well, ask a question. Yes. One question. Then I have to put it on my back. All right. Okay. 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 All right. If someone wants to leave their scriptures, whether they follow the Quran or whether they follow the Bible, I'm suggesting to you, you need stronger evidence to abandon your Bible or your Quran in order to move to something. So the question am I asking you, what would be that that will cause a person to leave their scriptures? So for example, I wouldn't leave the Quran because I cannot find a non-Jewish woman name in the Bible. That's not a reason. But the reason to leave the Bible has to be something much more profound. I didn't say that all of the reasons. That's one of the right. reasons, sir. Right. Because today, sir, yeah. you don't know, I know, I'm a Christian, I'm following Jesus Christ. Yeah. Today, we have more attack on our women than any, any as the ages in the past. There's more attack on our women. That's why our women, unfortunately, they lose their self-control and they dress like the world. Yes. Okay. There's much attack on our women, godly women, godly sister. That's why we are under attack. Yes. By you, I get that. by any other do, do you know I mean? me. Yeah, of course, of course. Because you gave us the the, 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 the picture of how Muslim women are dressing. So the dress. And I respect, yeah, and I respect right. you for that. Right, the I dress. I for that. But we are not into religion. That is the religion. Right. That's just a God bless her. That's the religion. Right. Any other woman who just like it, that's the religion. Yes. I'm not saying that, but according to the Bible, my Bible command me as the disciple of Jesus Christ, as an ambassador, to tell my sister in Christ, cover your head when you pray and when you prophesy. All right. And I'm out of any church I go. They kick me out because I cannot take it. <laughs> I respect that. So, yeah. So, sir, I am not saying, no, that is the only evidence. No, I am saying to you, in this age, in this age, and the time of Jesus, give me one woman who raised up army against Jesus Christ. Just one woman. One Gentile woman, one Jewish woman. We don't know of any. You don't know of any? No. But what about, if I, with my due respect to you as a Muslim? I love Muslim people. You may not agree with me, but I've got two brothers, four brothers, two sisters. My mom's still alive. They all recite Surah Al-Ikhlas. They all recite Surah Fatiha. They do their sujood, but they don't know what is the meaning of Qul Wallah wa Ahad Allah wa Samad. They don't know. But you I know. know. They didn't know. You know. I, I know, yeah. All right, tell me. Please. I know. Tell me. That's why I'm a Christian. That's why I'm a Christian. Why Why are you a Christian? I'm a Christian because of Surah Al-Ikhlas. I don't agree with the Surah Al-Ikhlas. Because you... Right. So it, let's assume Surah Al-Ikhlas. No, that's your first question. I have one question. I have to preach. What was your first question? I forget. You have to preach. You yes. know, I, 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 sir, I gave you one platform. <laughs> All right. One, one sorry, question, sorry, sorry. What was sorry. the first question? The, the first question I ask you, what will be the main reasons for a person leaving the Bible, fundamental reason, leaving the Bible, and moving on to the Quran or leaving Christianity onto something better? You mean the fundamental? Yeah, what are the fundamental reasons? That's a very good question. Yes. And it's very easy. Okay. Whether, whether man or woman. Power, position, and popularity. Mm. Fame, finance, and female. And that is the trinity of every man, whether you agree with me or not. That is the trinity of men. So this trinity, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, have been, have been replaced by some, I don't give any name because I, 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 I respect my, I respect Christ. Hi, I'm Hi. There you go. So I don't give you any name, but I'm sure you know there's many mega church. Not only 100, 500,000, there are 10,000 every Sunday. And they are thrown away by power, position, and popularity. Yeah, yeah, they're just yeah. 
Was Jesus famous? Akbar. Was Jesus popular? Allahu Akbar, brother, please. I'm talking okay. to the gentleman. Okay, no problem. Come. Control, still control. Okay. Sir, was Jesus was famous? Yes. Was he famous? Oh, that... say, was he famous? Yes, yes. No, he was not. Well, I would say he was. No, no, he was not. Yes, I would say he was. No, he was not. Okay. Now he is because of me and because I'm the brother. He was not. As a white, they wouldn't crucify him. So the question is, no, the fundamental reason for me to come back to Islam or for to you to live with, I'm not saying that women, but the fundamental evidence is not Mark, Luke, Matthew, but the fundamental reason or evidence for us to believe the Bible is the history. The history? Yes. All right. The history confirmed that Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary. Just recently they found out a multiple body who have been crucified, not as we see the image of the Catholic Church. They do it here? No. Jesus was not crucified on here. It was here. They are found recently in, 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 in Tel Aviv. They are found recently, archaeological, they found that multiple people have been crucified. They have been all crucified from here and from here. Mm. That's evidence. This virgin birth, virgin birth, this <coughs> burial, Resurrection and ascension of Jesus Christ is the fundamental. Can I offer you? Yeah. There's it, no poison in it? No. Oh, Thank you. please. I'm sorry, just joking. No, it's, it's okay. honey and echinacea. Thank you. Thank bought you. from Holland and Barrett. Thank you. But if you're speaking a lot, the honey and Thank the echinacea you. is good for you. We are good. Thank you. Here you go, my brother. Yes. So, no. The, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, that's not the only fundamental. But what I'm saying, brother, you agree in some point with us that Jesus was born of a virgin. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said that he was a prophet. Yes. We believe that he was a prophet as well. Well, we don't say he's a prophet. We say he's one of the mightiest messengers of God. Kalam Allah is his mighty. Tilka Rasulu. What is the job of a prophet? To establish the will of God. What is the job? There's the difference between prophet and priest. Okay. So the prophet <coughs> is look at the people who turn his back to God. Please look at God and turn back to the people. So Jesus as a prophet, yes, he was a prophet because he had to fulfill Deuteronomy 1818. He had to fulfill Isaiah 29 verse, I can't remember what verse. Yeah, he yeah. Had, he had you? to fulfill all the prophecy as a prophet. Why? Because the Jewish man couldn't take Jesus. That's why they crucify him. They call him a blasphemer. Yeah. How dare you call God your father? He said before Abraham was I am. They stole him. You are not even 50, 60. How dare you say before Abraham was I am a blasphemer. One of the church, a blasphemy, and the other one, resurrection, interruption. From so all of the Quran, besides Surah Al-Ikhlas, you agree with? No, I don't agree with any of this. You don't agree with nothing of the Quran? No. You don't agree with Surah Al-Fatiha? No. Right. Now I, why, why should I have to say five times a prayer, five times a day, Surah Al-Fatiha, how many times do you have? 27? Sorry? Five times prayer, multiply, Two in the morning, four in the midday, four afternoon, three or four afternoon, three in Isha, and then four. So if you multiply, you got how many? Twenty-seven times Surah sort of Fatiha, yeah? Twenty-seven times. This is careful, Habibi. Very, very careful. First of all, he said, Ehdina Sirat al Mustaqim. Isn't it? You cry out to Allah, asking Him day and night in your prayer, O oh Allah, guide me to a straight path. Yes. The narrow path. So which one came first, Jesus or Muhammad? No, but do you disagree with that? I do, you know why? I'll why? tell you why. Why? In my Bible, chapter 7, verse 13, Jesus Christ said, Enter in a straight gate, for wide is the gate, and what is the way that leads to destruction, and made the way which goes. But straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which is unto life, and only few will find it. But that's not disagreement. No, what's Stratum Mustaqim? Habibi, Stratum Mustaqim. What's Stratum Mustaqim? Stratum Mustaqim in English. Mustaqim. Right. Right, Mu Mustaqim. You speak Arabic, right? Sure, sure. Right. Mustaqim is also a part in the human organ that is the narrowest organ in the entire. So Mustaqim, one of the definitions of Mustaqim, is a narrow path, not a freedom-wide path. The second part of Mustaqim, it is the part of the prophets, the sabil of the messengers, the way of the messengers. Now you explain. Now, so the question is, why do you agree with a prayer that is asking one God to guide you, that's two, and guide you to his way, that is the way of the prophets. Why would you disagree with that? I would say because Jesus came before Muhammad. 
So, Jesus came before Muhammad. And, and, and so, Satan and came George, before. Habibi, in George chapter 45, verse 3, he said, I am the way, definite article. Right, and Satan come Habibi, before. Habibi. Yes. I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. Right. That's what he said. In Matthew chapter 10, verse 3, he said, It in uh, the narrow way. I am the narrow way. That's another I can explain to you. I said, I am Sirat al Mustaqim. All right, I understand that. So, um, that's one point. Yes. Then you say, Khail Maghzubi Ali Mola Salim. I understand that, but you always say Khail Maghzubi Ali Mola Salim. Sir, I am ignorant. I'm Jahil. Tell me what Khail Maghzubi Ali Mola Salim mean in English, in clear English, please. Not the part of those who have Ghadab on them. Who has us? Sorry? Who has us? Just a minute, slow down. Not the part who have Ghadab or Dalin. Who have left the part or has willfully disobeyed God that the curse of Allah come on them. So tell me what does Ghazab mean in English? I am Ghadab. Ghadab. What's Ghadab mean? Yeah. Ghadab is the way of which God punish people. So his anger upon people, his punishment are those. So those who God punish because they were defiant of God, we ask God not to be from those people. So you see. You and see, you have a problem with that? Yes, I, I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I am Kurdish from North Iraq. You may not agree with me, but I am a genuine, proud Kurdish. But I'm not bound by my culture. I'm most of the Muslim uh, I'm bound by Jesus Kurdish. Habibi. Habibi. Most of the Muslim scholar Kurdish. Habibi, for 25 plus years, I used to say, Khaim Muslim Ali Mullah Salim. I didn't even know what that means. Well, brother, I tell you, I'm sorry to interrupt you. You are, you are Kurdish, but you didn't read Quran, you didn't pray. You are kind of yeah, Suleimani no, people. No, I'm telling checking. you, I am, my no. mom is Kurd. No. My mom is from no. Hawliya. No. And I speak your language. No. No. I'm telling no. you one thing. No. Most of no. the no. Muslim no. scholar no, is Kurdish. No, you are lying. Man. Wallah, no, are Wallah, lying. Wallah. Please, Wallah. Please, I'm not my grandfather is scholar. Otherwise, I have to walk away, bro. From my mom. I have to walk away. It's Kurdish. I have to walk away. So here, my friend. You are not understand the Islam. You used to be by yourself walking. Brother. And Stop. doing as you like. So like here. this losing I know. boy or lost My boy. language is not Arabic. I am born in a Kurdish. Came here because of My resident, language is Kurdish. I don't understand Kurdish. everything in Arabic. Okay? But I'm Maybe saying to you, my mother is still alive. Yeah. Two sisters uh, and he's three he's brothers yeah, he's yeah. who decide Surat al Fatiha and Surat Ikhlas, they Kurdish. don't even oh, no, know what yeah. that means. The difference between the Holy Arabic and the Holy Arabic. I'm not lying. I can give you the line I can talk to them. The not only one of them can read Arabic and go to the Quran, just speak and read their night. Right, they don't know what it means. They but what they know, what they know, what they know is who they're serving. They know their Lord and they may not be able to fully grasp some kind of scholastic explanation of the Quran, but they know their Lord. Otherwise, why are they praying for 30 years plus consistently to a God? After Why? That is blind worship. With my due respect. How is it blind sorry, if they know who is your God? I will tell you why. I will How tell is it blind? I, I, was, I finished my high school. When he came here, he's young. 30 years Straight away. They said, yeah, about 38. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost 38. They give him the card. Yeah, yeah. I learned Arabic from school. No from work. army, no from Why are you shaking? Why are you shaking? Do you know me, sir? No, no. Why are you shaking? Do you know me, sir? No, no. Why are you judging me? 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 Why are you God, I must talk to him in a language who he can accept my prayer and I can't talk to him. Hold on, why do I say that? In, in a pattern Sorry. of prayer, in Matthew chapter 7, sorry, chapter 6, we got the pattern of prayer. This is the way you pray, pray like this. Our Father, which I have. But blind faith is accepted in some cases. Do you believe in paradise? Do you believe in hell? I, I do, I do. Right, that's blind faith. You haven't seen paradise, you haven't seen hell. No, I, so in I know. some cases, but I know blind God. faith Habibi. is acceptable. No, Habibi, I know the concept of hell. I know the concept of heaven. Right. So the hell and heaven have been described to me by the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. So I can understand in, in English. And I can understand in Kurdish now, because I got the Bible in Kurdish. But why do you think we, we Muslims do not accept the Bible as it would have been? I'm not saying you, I'm not saying every Muslim. Right, okay. Some. Those who cannot understand the meaning of the Quran. Hmm. The meaning of the prayer. But you know the meaning of prayer, but it's still, you rejected the Quran. But you know what Surah class means. Yeah, I, now I know, but back then I didn't know. Right, but you know, and it hasn't changed you. It, it, it Do you know? Me. No, it hasn't. I, I, I tell you, what's it? Qul wallahu ahad. 
Say Allah is Ahad, is one. Right, exactly. Well, well Jesus said in, in Deuteronomy, hold on, brother. Jesus said, He was Israel. Our Lord, our God is one God. Right. So that came after Jesus. So that doesn't change anything to me because Jesus said, He, O Israel, our Lord, our God, is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart. But you are Christian, you are Christian, you are Muslim first and a Christian after. I'm a Christian now, yeah. Right. Okay. So the question is, Kul hu Allahu Ahad, you left, you left Islam. No, for that. Yeah, I, for that. Why? Why? You just because, told me. Uh, yeah, and why? You because, left Islam because of Kul yeah, Allah. Because Jesus, before Muhammad said, Allah is one. God is one. So let me ask you a question. Right. If Jesus said God is one, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says God is one. Messengers, Abraham said God is one. Moses said God is one. Adam alayhi salam said God is one. What is your problem? Why surat al-ikhlas? You would leave Islam because Allah says Qul hu wallahu ahad. Why would you leave? It doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. All right, explain it to me. Okay. Make it make it make okay. sense to me. Don't get me wrong, 200 years ago, this country was far, far better than today, in some senses. But today, because of technology, because of, of TV, uh, electricity, because of smartphone, we are uh, far greater than Suleiman. We are much greater than Suleiman. I don't know about that part, but... Don't, don't, poor, so, poor, don't poor, you poor expect example. me, don't you expect me to leave a better legacy for our children? Don't you expect you I expect you to leave a greater legacy for your children and for the community whom you live. We talk about Kul Hu Allahu Ahad. I know, that's what I mean. So Jesus, Muhammad came after Jesus, how many, 600 years? Yes, but I, Satan, Satan but came before see, Muhammad and but, Jesus. Habibi, Habibi. You see, what does that say? That's a, that's it's a flawed that. argument. No, no, it's not flawed All due respect, no, no. it's no, a flawed argument. Christianity is make more sense than Islam. How so? It is because they, All right. Jesus said, love your enemies. All right, okay. All right. Jesus for Jewish. It no, sent for no, it's Jewish. Not. no, it's not. No, Muhammad it's not. was sent no. for the whole nation. No. Uh, I will, okay, okay. Let me ask He's you. a Jewish no. Uh, family, isn't no. it? Again, no. bro, you think uh, you joined the Christianity community because you think it makes more sense to you. But what I'm saying is, you know, it's all different values. That's, that's the one you chose. And this is not a global religion. Christianity is not a global religion. It's only okay. limited. This is careful. This is careful. That's the Gospel of Luke of the Master Mark. In Luke chapter 2, look what you said. I see from verse 8. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round upon them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings, that means good news, of great joy, which shall be to all people. The saying of Allah or the saying of Jesus or the saying of Brother, the people coming simple. after Jesus. It's very simple. No, yes. the whole the whole text. Is it from Allah? Allah. It's from God. What? Or from Jesus? It's from God. From God yeah, and it Jesus. Is, it is cocktail. No, it's not cocktail. Please, this is please. Cocktail. No. please, please. Don't from it. Jesus? Brother, I'm talking to that gentleman. I'm going to walk away as a wife. Okay, okay. okay. because you are judging me, but that gentleman has so far but judging me. This is me. not pure from what, Allah. What that what he said? He Quran said, is for you, from Allah. What is it? he said, for, listen, and the angel said unto them, fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people, including you, including you, including you and me. And if you go to Akhid, my friend, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. The Bible I'm, is full of history. It's not pure Allah words. So you're committing to by saying, uh, Jesus is coming. Habib, while I'm looking for this. What I'm trying to say to you, I'm trying to understand what part of the Quran. I'm not finished yet. No, sorry, carry on. So, Qul Wallahu Ahad. Allah is one. Okay? So here, You Jesus, disagree with that? I, I do. I do. Why? Why? Why do I disagree? Because Jesus, before Muhammad said, Allah is one. No, but that's not a disagreement. That's an agreement. No, but Jesus already told us. The, right. So, so we don't need the other right. confirmation. Let me ask you a question. If if you said something to me that is right, and I say something to him that is right, why should you disagree with that? If because Muhammad says Allah is one, the Quran said Allah is one, Moses said Allah is one, Abraham said Allah is one, all of the previous says God is one. Why do you still disagree with that? Because the book of Revelation sealed. You disagree with it? Of course I disagree. Do, do you understand because the word of disagree? Jesus already said God is one. We don't need Muhammad. 
So, we don't listen, call, we don't call Allah Ahad. Listen, listen. We don't need it, Habibi. My friend, listen. Jesus already said Allah is one, God is one. Listen. You, but the question you cannot disagree with something Brother, because the Quran it's says not, it. It's not only disagree, I don't believe it. What is it you don't believe? I don't I, believe it. No, you believe Jesus, it if it's in here. Because, no, because Jesus said, I right. am. No, Jesus, you believe it if it's in the Bible. No, Jesus said, I am. If the Quran says the exact same thing that the Bible says, no. you disagree with the Quran, but you believe in it in the Bible. No, no. no. Make it no. make sense. It, may, it makes sense, but you don't understand, unfortunately. You said you disagree no. with Kul Hu okay. Allahu Ahad. Okay, that is one step. Kul Allahu Ahad. Allahu Samad. Lam Yalid wa Lam Yulah. What that means? What, what does Lam Yalid wa Lam Yulah? Every Muslim, when you pray, Sister, if you are Christian, listen carefully. Every single Muslim, whether in this country or in Saudi Arabia, any time they pray, they go against the deity of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? That means I'm a Muslim. Yeah. So if he's okay. telling you something, every I'm Muslim, here to make it every crystal Muslim, clear to you. When they pray, they pray eight in a Yes. Okay. Let me explain what so that they means. Go sister. Against the deity of it means Jesus to say God does not have children god does not have children and he's not a child so Quran what it is just, just, we don't need to shout you, you 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 have the right to explain what you're saying and i'm giving the other side of it god said this is my beloved son on the mouth of transfiguration he said this is my beloved the question son is in whom islamic I'm god does not listen believe to him. god have children yes. the islamic god doesn't believe yes. that it this doesn't mean to say we just believe in God. It means to say Christ. we don't believe in a God that has children. No, I can ask him a question. Muhammad. I can. We no, don't believe in. A I can ask a question. According to the Bible, Christ. no. According to the Bible, God created man, and when He saw man sin, He regretted making man. Now we, as Muslims, we don't believe God regrets because the concept of regrets means to say you have no foreknowledge. But God is all knowing and all wise. So God, when he created man, he knew exactly all that what man is going to do. So the question is, we as Muslims, we don't believe that God regrets anything because he's all knowing. Now, now he believes in a God that regrets. If we you are ask, here today, we are an ambassador. We are the messengers. We are the steward. We are the, we, we are the, the shepherd. We are here under our shepherd, under shepherd, under Jesus Christ. We have one mandate from heaven to declare to you peace and love from God and from Jesus Christ. Show me where in the Quran Allah said, I love the non-believers, I will draw my Bible right now. Give me one verse in the Quran He loved Allah kufur. says, I love for him, all humanity. For him, Allah must love kufur to be Allah. Just give me one verse. What? What? Is that is that love? Is that love? I'm, I'm, I'm well loved because Jesus Christ said, "For God so loves the world, including you and you. For God so loves the world." Show me in the Quran when Allah said to Muhammad, "For well, Allah so loves the world." No, but the question is, the, the, the question is, can the I question Christopher? is, my friend, you do not understand the Bible because you are blind. I said, show me one phrase in the Quran Chris, when Allah said, Muhammad said, for Allah so loves the world. Now, the question is, first of all, the question is, you quote a passage of the Bible, but the Islamic version is that God never loved this world. That's number one. Second, see, second point, one second, brother, one but second. The, the second point is, the even Bible said, yeah, what the Bible said, whosoever fall in love with the world has formed enmity against God. So are you a Christian? So it's a contradiction. And the second thing, God never loved this world. Jesus, I am no longer a Muslim like you guys. So you see, what does the world mean? No shouting. I'm shouting because you don't listen. No, shouting will make me listen. Reasoning will. Reasoning will make me listen. Yes. You, I will respond to reasoning and to logic, but not shouting. You are, you are a deceiver with my due respect. Sorry? You are a deceiver. Okay. Tell me what does the world mean according to the Bible? What does the world mean? Yeah, because you misrepresent the Bible. No, I didn't, I, didn't, I did not yes, misrepresent did. the Bible. Yes, you, you quoted a scripture Just in the Bible. Can I finish, Bible. please? Can I finish? We can sing at the same time, but we cannot speak at the same time. I know, because you don't listen. I don't I listen. All right, sorry. No, I, I will sir, listen to you. I will not allow you to misrepresent the Bible in order to win the argument. I'm not trying to win anything. Yes, you did. 
What, what am I? Listen, we're having a conversation. You can share your views and I share my views. My Bible says, for God so loves the we world. We have a conversation. Yeah. What is the world the Bible represents? What does the world mean in the Bible? The world. Yeah, the what world. Does that mean? No. You're saying that the Bible said, for God so loved the world yeah. that he gave his only begotten son. No. Yeah. No. Okay. That's what the Bible says. Yeah, so, uh, I'm yeah. saying to you, because it's a conversation we have, I'm not part of your church, so I may have shared a different view. According to the Bible, the very same Bible says, whosoever falls in love with the world has formed enmity against God. I agree with However, you. Right. I yes. Agree with yes. So I'm not lying. So I, right. said, I know. But, but, but what sir, I'm trying what to say is... What does the world mean biblical? So, so, biblical mean of the world? Okay. Can I answer that? Please. I'm going to get to that. What I'm trying to say, God never loved this world. This world, for the majority of time, this world has been governed by evil, witchcraft, tyrants, wrong, Satan. No so God... God, no, no, don't say that to the Of course, no, of course. No, no, it's going to be rude. Because, no, I'm not wrong, sir. Because no, I am telling the truth. No, but you're because, saying that's rude. rude. Because we don't believe, we it, don't believe the same way you believe the Allah. We I respect that. that. We don't believe that. Yes. So, but do you expect, do you believe, do you believe? Allah is the bald God. But do you believe, do you believe that let's God regretted? Let's come, no. Do you believe that when God made man, he regretted? Yes, why? Do, do you believe that? Do. Right. So go, your God regretted. Why? Why? No, I'm asking you. No, I'm asking why he regretted. A hundred reasons why. He, but I can tell you what the scripture says. Christopher, the scripture says Brother. God regretted Brother. making no, man no, no. after he saw the sins of man. Brother, now, now you are going to... We don't believe in a God that regrets. God does not regret anything. Because he's, he's al alim. All you have in your Quran and all you have with my due respect in your history of your religion is nothing but killing. So the whole Quran is about killing? Trust me. So the whole Quran is about killing? And is that truthful? I, that's true. Right. I'll tell you what. So I'll Surah tell al Fatiha. You, you, you said what. the whole Quran. Let's Surah Al Fatiha. No, no, no. Who does the Surah Al Fatiha say to kill? You already told me, but you didn't tell me what's Ghazab being. Uh, I understand what's Ghazab no, I'm asking you, you a question. Me. You said the whole Quran is about killing. Surah Al Fatiha. Who does Surah Al Fatiha say to kill? I didn't say, I didn't say Surah Al Fatiha. I just thought nothing. You said the whole Quran. No, I, exactly. The whole Quran, the whole Quran. Right. If the whole Quran, the whole Quran tells yes, you to kill, who does Surah Al Fatiha say to kill? I'll tell you. You want to kill me because I'm not Christian? No, I don't. Kill you. What should I kill you? In your Bible, no. He says, Jesus Christ said, no, no. Bring them in front of no. me and kill him. What was that? That's the day of. That is the day of judgment. Sorry. That is the day of judgment. Don't lie. That is not for me. Yeah, but there's no fear. It's not it's no for me. No, it's not for me. It's not for me. That is when you come back as a roaring lion. When you come back as a judge. Sorry, ask him. No, ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Will be submissive or subdue under his feet. No, no, can I ask you? That's a judgment. That's a judgment. So that is love. Mortal. We are in the stage of grace. Mortal. Monafik. Mortal. Mortal means an apostate. He was a Muslim, born from a Muslim family, and he apostated. Behold the love of God. Mortal. For me, it's not a lamb anymore. For me, it's a lion. Okay, the Lion of Judah. But to you, if you don't believe, he's still alive. He died for you. But can I ask you something? You see, you say... He died for you, bro. For me, Jesus Christ right now, he's the conquering lion. He's a warrior. He is a warrior. He is the chief of commander. Who is this? Jesus Christ. Jesus is saying, if I don't follow him, then you must kill me. No, he didn't say that. Don't, don't, don't in the Bible, don't. He said, he said, love your enemies. Hold on. Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good and that hate you. And pray for them who despise and use you and persecute you. So you're just saying you that, that's the Christopher, Bible. I'm just excusing myself. I'll make a wrong. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your time. I apologize if I said anything wrong. I do apologize about this woman, but you know, I do make a mistake. I do apologize. I'm, yeah, just, yeah. I'm the camera, you know that. Huh? I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't say that, but I did. It's a female that, as that's well. That's my humanity, yeah. anyway. Yes. Yeah. All right, we'll catch up again. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we are. All right.